Hello there and welcome to part 11 of this tutorial series and the final one when it comes to Tweepy as I believe there is one more topic that's worth covering and that is this trends for you which you can see on the top right side of my screen basically Twitter uh, has an algorithm to identify which topics are trending and here it you can of course choose the location and based on that location, you will see the topics that are being trended and also the volume of the tweets that are being posted related to that topic. So you see that some of them have 12,000 tweets, are have only, like, let's say, below 3,000. And you might not necessarily agree that something with 3,000 tweets is trending, but that's something that you can make a decision on. And we're going to actually um, create a field where you can manually adjust for that. So let's start with try, let's tra start with extracting what's shown in here for the entire world so that what's trending in the world and then let's see how we can filter or, or increase the threshold of what's trending but also how we can change that for other geographical areas so for a different country state maybe region or area so what we need to do is and i'll continue of course in the same file Let's define a new function which would be extract trends. So when we want to extract trends, as we mentioned, we want to have a certain geographical area, right? So this is one of the inputs that we need. And the second one would be threshold if we want to, to get the trends that are above certain amount of tweets. Now for this first part, it's important to know that the input that we need to provide is called where on earth ID. And this is just a numerical, um, I, it's, it's not really a one digit or five digits or 10 digits. It's, it's not really a fixed uh, length. And I'll put a link in the description to this website. But for example, if we want to extract the tweets that are trending in the world, we need to use the where on earth ID of one. So the ID would be one. And then later on, we can see here the, the other IDs or other parts of the world. And again, as you can see here, it states country state, but as you see, here's Amsterdam, which is not a country nor state, it's a city. So um, it's not necessarily that you're limited to country or, or cities. And as you can see, there are 466 uh, different geographical areas that you can use to extract trends from. And maybe one thing you might want to do is extract this table and then iterate through all of them and get what's trending everywhere in the world. But first, let's try to extract and let's see what is the uh, structure of, of the data that we get back. So this part would be where on earth ID and the threshold, this is self-explanatory. At the moment, we can set it to one, but we're going to use that later on. So all trends would be equal to api.trends underscore place, where the ID is equal to the where on earth ID we specify. And then let's return this all trends. So just as a quick check to see the structure, trends equal extract trends, where the, the ID would be one and threshold would be zero. And let's take a look at these trends. So we have 91 lines, so there, there's a lot of information in there. And if you take a look at the structure, it's here it's a dictionary. So we need to pass the key trends. And then there's there, there are a lot of uh, elements. The first one being name Luis Enrique, which is the first topic that uh, is returned as trending. And then what we can see is tweet volume. So this is just one element. Then the second element is Nacho. So this name is actually the topic. And then we have tweet volume of 44. Now what you can see is that the there isn't really a lot of logic in the elements that are being returned because first we get a tweet with 30,000 tweets. Then the next one is 44,000 tweets. So if you're thinking, oh, they're, they're increasing in volume, that's not the case because la later on we have 14,000 tweets. We have 16,000, so there isn't really a structure in that sense. And if you think of maybe there's a logic into the, the topic, maybe they're going alphabetically, that's also not the case. Because first we have Luis Enrique starting with L, and then later on we have, for example, Aspas. So starting with A. So 
don't try to uh, think of this uh, as any structured data. Instead, what we're going to do is we will extract the topic and the tweet volume, and then we will try to uh, structure that in a nice way that we can use. And for that purpose, I'm going to import pandas as PD as we can create a nice data frame that we can uh, work with. So first, data frame equals PD dot data frame. We're going to create two columns. The first one would be trend. So what is the trend? And the second one would be volume or how many tweets have been posted related to that trend or topic. And then index would be equal to none. We don't really need any index. So let's not return all trends at the moment. So what we need to do is um, for i in range len all trends and then zero. So we need the zeroth element then trends what we need to do is when we iterate through all of them we need to extract the trend and the volume or the key right it was i think it was stated as name and the second one was just tweet volume so the trend would be equal to all trends zero trends i and then name and the volume would be actually very similar except instead of getting the name we would need to get tweet volume and basically for every element that was returned we would be able to get the name and the tweet volume now once we have that what we need to do is add them to our data frame which at the moment is empty it only has uh, the, the names of the columns and what we need to do is we're going to try to do something if volume is greater than threshold and the threshold is something that we're going to specify so maybe here we will specify 50,000 if there are over 50,000 tweets so if the volume is greater than threshold then let's create a new row and that new row would be equal to a dictionary where we have trend Right, so this is the name of the column that would be equal to that would be actually the trend that we've extracted so lowercase and volume volume so this is just linking our uh, column names with the information that we have extracted and then we would like to append it so data frame would be equal to data frame dot append new row ignore index equals true so after our first iteration our data frame would have one extra row that we're trying so else if if that's not the case so if the volume is is below the threshold then we don't want to do anything if um, it doesn't work for some reason you can pass i'm not sure if you you run into some issue but I don't expect anything but yeah if you do please let me know in the comment section below and we will take a look into that of course now once we have that data frame um, we're going to set the index to be equal to trend because at the moment we didn't set any index so data frame dot set index trend and if you remember we already briefly touched upon the fact that there is no structure in the data so at this point what we can do is actually make sense and maybe uh, sort the values based on the volume so data frame equals data frame dot sort values and then by volume where ascending would be equal to false and let's return this data frame so now what we're doing is basically extracting all the trends into uh, from the ID being one so from the entire world where the threshold is 50,000 so if there are over 50,000 tweets on a certain topic we would like to extract them and then in that case we're creating a new row which is being appended or added to our empty data frame so let's see if we run into any issue at least maybe a typo looks good and let's take a look into these trends so you see that of course it, it can be in different in different uh, language but we have only five topics 
Let's quickly take a look into this. Maybe we can reduce the, the threshold for a bit. And let's take a look into another um, country or state. Uh, of course, maybe let's see, I sell Canada. So this would be the, uh, the wear on our ID for Canada. I'll place that one there and I'll remove this threshold to 5000 just to make sure that it works. Let's print trends. See, this is actually what's trending in uh, Canada at this moment based on the number of tweets. Now the volume, although it seems quite high, this is not necessarily the volume that's coming only from Canada, it's just from the entire world. But these are topics that are also being tre uh, trending in, uh, in Canada as well. So the, the volume distribution is not necessarily, it doesn't mean that it's coming from that country, but it means that these topics are most popular there as well. So um, I think this is sufficient for this tutorial and well, that's pretty much everything that you can do when it comes to this trending part. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if not, I'll see you in the next video.